Hey guys, I wanted to make a little stretching flow for, uh, for all of you as we're on our extended vacation from um, New Hope Karate. So this way you can do a little work, de-stress after the coronavirus scare perhaps, and uh, improve your flexibility as well. Keep uh, moving forward with your training. So I'm going to hold each stretch for maybe five seconds. You can do it for 20 to 30 seconds each stretch, and I recommend two times each, okay? So really good stretch for the hamstring for underneath the butt is to lean forward here. We want straight back, we want straight knee, okay? And then switch and reach. Straight back means hinging at the hips, not curving at the back. So try to sit up straight and pull. The longer and straighter you can be, the better. Okay? Feet together, nice gentle stretch for the adductors, the muscles on the inside. Sit tall, let the knees down to the ground, and then if you want, you can try to touch your nose to the floor. Try to keep your back straight. This is my cat. His name is DC. He is very cute. After this, you can do the lightning bolt for the front glute, getting over the leg, and you'll feel it on the side that's down. You can reverse it and come over here as well. Then switch sides. Again, holding each stretch for 20 to 30 seconds, whatever feels good. Make sure you're breathing deeply. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're breathing deep, nice and relaxed. The goal is to be sleepy when you finish this. Good. You can work practical postures. You can go into the squat and stuff. It's good to do all of these exercises when you're already warm. So if you do some squats, if you do a little jog, if you do anything like that, it's a good way to start out. You can come up, reach for the toes. Spread the legs. Allow them to open all the way. If you don't want to go here quite yet, a nice in-between stretch is the frog. Might as well work some Cobra too. Stretch the front of the body. Let the hips stay on the ground, come up. Push the shoulders down, push through the hand. This is a stretch for the stomach, for the muscles in the abdomen, in the front. You can push it back and stretch out the lats. Elbows into the ground, butt back onto the feet. You'll feel the stretch in here. You do downward dog, see if it scares away the cat. And if you want some quad, come back, lift up, push the hips high. This will get both legs. One leg 
it forward, opposite glute, press it forward, push the hips in, turn the tummy on. This is a stretch for the, uh, the hip flexor, the psoas muscle. You can lift the arm if you like, elongate through the torso, try to get a little more stretch. Switch sides. After a round of this stretch, you can work the side of the body, coming up over the top. Notice I'm raising the arm on the side of the leg that's in the rear. Okay, this won't give me much of a stretch. The stretch is on this side. I raise up, I elongate through the side of the body and I reach over the top, I'm making sure I don't come forward at all. I'm trying not to lean back. I'm straight up and down in the torso and right over the top, elongating through the side. Switch to the other one, I'll do it toward the camera. Pushing the hips in, glute on, tummy on, raise it up, straight over to the other side. Stretch out the neck, press the shoulders down, drop the ear to one shoulder. If you like, you can take the hand on the opposite side and pull just a little, give it a little weight. And switch. If perhaps you've been working out, been doing any push-ups, take one arm behind, try to meet, fingers together. This is what I need to work more on. And switch. There are more stretches, and as you work out, as you exercise, and different muscles get sore, you want to stretch the muscles that you worked. But these are a bunch of general stretches that will be helpful to you. Um, they work on things that get tight naturally throughout the day. If you're sitting, if you're watching, if you're reading, if you're writing, any of these things. And they also hit most of the major muscle groups that you would work in martial arts. So stretching these practicing a little bit of stretching each day will have uh, big results over the long term. But it's like getting stronger. You don't uh, up your push-up number drastically in just a couple days. You have to invest time. You have to put it in over a period of time before you see that growth. Flexibility is the same way. So breathe deep, practice relaxing into each stretch, and you'll make progress.